we will solve hc verma problem 26 chapter 7 it is on the projectile motion and we have to find the radius of curvature at a given point this is a projectile path and the initial velocity of the projectile is u which is at an angle theta with the horizontal the horizontal component of velocity is u cos theta and the vertical component is u sin theta this will keep on changing as the motion takes place because there is a acceleration due to gravity downwards which will alter the vertical velocity but the horizontal velocity u h remains constant remains constant remains constant and remains constant please keep this in mind it doesn't change at all what we have to find is that at a particular point where the particle or the velocity we will say is making theta by 2 let it be alpha with the horizontal at this point what is the radius of curvature let the velocity be v as we know that in case of any circular motion if this is the tangential velocity and there is a normal acceleration there is a relationship between the radius of this curve which the particle is taking and the normal velocity which is velo uh, normal acceleration which is normal to the tangential velocity to the path I repeat velocity is tangential to path acceleration is normal to path and the relationship is R is equal to V square upon A N this is the basic formula we have to use in all such problems where the normal where, where the radius of curvature has to be found always imagine a small part where the radius of curvature is to be found find out the tangential velocity at that point obtain the normal component of the acceleration at that point and then the problems becomes easy let us take this point this small curve we are taking of which we want the radius of curvature this is the tangential velocity which we have taken V and it is making alpha which is theta by 2 with the horizontal now let us see what are the what is the acceleration acting uh, acceleration of the particle is nothing but G which is downwards but we want to know what is the acceleration which is normal to the tangential velocity I repeat normal to the tangential velocity this is alpha this will also be alpha so it is G cos alpha our problem has now become easier so the radius is equal to V square upon G cos theta by 2 I have replaced alpha alpha is theta by 2 we have to also replace the value of V which we can easily do now see this diagram again there are two components this is V cos alpha and this is V sin alpha this is the horizontal component and I said horizontal component remains constant all through it is constant in case of projectile the horizontal velocity remains same all through so what was the horizontal velocity u cos theta and this is at this point equal to v cos alpha which is v cos theta by 2 so what is the value of v v is equal to u cos theta upon cos theta by 2 put the value of v in this expression so you get r is equal to u square cos square theta 
अपॉन कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा बाय टू इनटू जी कॉस थीटा बाय टू सो आर बिकम्स यू स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा अपॉन जी कॉस क्यूब थीटा बाय टू इस दी आंसर टू दी प्रॉब्लम दैट इस द रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर एट दिस पॉइंट just remember never make mistake in case of horizontal component draw a diagram break the tangential velocity into two component at that point whatever is the angle find out the tangential velocity the the horizontal velocity and equate it to the initial horizontal velocity because it remains constant find out the component of gravity which is normal to the tangential velocity and apply this formula so these three four steps would enable you to solve such problems for any point it may be here it may have it may be here you can easily find the radius of curvature thank you